Grab your pencil and your paper. And turn on your imagination. We're gonna draw, draw, draw. We're gonna create, create, create. We're gonna make, make, make something great, great, great. We're gonna draw, draw, draw. We're gonna create, create, create. We're gonna make, make, make something great, great, great. We're gonna draw. We're gonna create. We're Welcome back, drawing fans. Steve Harpster here, and I love drawing. I have a lot of how to draw books. You can purchase those at my web store, like Giant Monsters, or how about Funny Cartoon Monsters using letters, and you can learn how to draw these various creatures using letters of the alphabet. I have Drawing Dragons, Spider Bite, dinosaurs and awesome aliens and when you purchase a book i will draw on the inside cover and sign it so we get a little cartoon drawing from me and the link below uh, for that so i am just amazed how much fun you can have with a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and i'm going to show you how to draw a monster and it's going to come out amazing okay so first thing we're going to do we're going to draw this monster by folding our piece of paper in half and creasing it down the middle. And so we folded it so it looks like a greeting card, right? When you open it up, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up. We have this line right here. And on that line, we're going to try as best as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, I don't draw perfect. I make mistakes. We're not trying to draw perfect today. In fact, it's even more fun today if you don't draw perfect. So what I'm gonna do, and I would suggest using a pen because you are going to need to trace later on. So let's go ahead and here towards the top and in the very center of that piece of paper, as much as you can, we're gonna draw capital letter A. And now we're gonna fold that letter A over like so. And this is where we have fun drawing the monster. So you're only going to draw half the monster. So uh, let's go ahead and draw the monster's eye right here. Some lines under it. Let's go ahead and draw the monster's nose. We'll draw a curved line here and another curved line here for the nostril. Let's draw the monster's mouth. Just gonna draw a line and some teeth poking out of that mouth. And maybe the lip right here. Now at any time you wanna add your own thing, feel free. Remember, we're drawing half of the monster. So if you, whatever you draw on this side of paper, it will re be repeated on the second part of the paper. Let's go ahead and add an angry eyebrow. And then, there's the top of our monster's head. Let's draw sort of a little shape out here. And then let's bring this around like so. Ooh, that's a good monster face. And then let's go ahead and I'm gonna add maybe a big horn on top of, not on top, but on the side of the head here. Notice I'm putting little like dents and things in it. That's going to, uh, make the, the horn a little more interesting because when I try and trace it, when I go back over and I try to trace this on the other side, it's going to be slightly different. Uh, no matter how well you trace, it's still going to come out slightly different. Let's go ahead and draw the monster's ear. And then for the monster's body... I think I'm gonna have it wearing like a furry type of a jacket, so, or some kind of material that has fur. I know, maybe like a furry vest. And you know, your art teachers always talk about texture. Let's add some texture so people know that that is 
For texture also allows you to break up large images and add some visual interest to your character. Now let's draw a belt going across like this. And added some little dots there. Now let's draw the monster's arm. And another line there. And let's add the monster's fingers. Now, if I'm going too fast, don't worry because I really want you to kind of add your own monster flavor to it. There's really no wrong or right how you draw your character. But remember, you can pause the video if you need to, and you can always uh, go back and forth just by tapping on the screen or using the keyboard. And let's add the monster's legs and feet. So I'm gonna draw these pants and they're gonna be ripped at the bottom and then they're gonna go over to the edge of the paper. And I barely have room for the foot. So I'm gonna to have to add a little monster foot, just a little tiny monster foot with these little monster toes. And that's gonna be kind of funny because it's gonna make this monster look that much bigger up top, right? Because its feet are so small. And there we go, we have Half, half of our monster. Now, what we are going to do is we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna draw the other half of our monster, except very hard to see, isn't it? It's hard to see through the paper. So what I suggest is you hold your drawing up to a window and use the window, the light of the window. Now, I'm a professional artist from the 90s and I have a light table. Let me set up my light table right now. Yes. In the 90s, as a professional artist, I needed to use this light table. What you do is you just turn on the switch here. Oh, and there you go, you have a light. And I needed to use this because I had to ink things on paper. Of course, now we use a computer or we use a tablet. So we rarely are inking on paper anymore as a professional artist. And I almost got rid of this light table and it's a good thing I didn't. Now, like I said, you'll have to use the window or um, some type of surface that'll allow light to pass through it, and then you can trace over your character. Let's go ahead and, and draw. I'm just gonna trace over my monster here as best as I can. And of course, even when you're tracing, it's not gonna be perfect. And actually, I, don't even like the word tracing because when I would ink characters, people say, oh, you're just tracing over them. And it's not really true. You're actually, anytime you're inking, you're actually drawing it better. You're so let's speed up this process because you've already seen me draw this monster and then we'll have the big monster reveal. Okay, so this is the monster we started off with. This is the original one we drew and then we flip it over and this is the new monster. Well, it's the other side of the monster. I, it's not really a new monster. I did add some different things, like I gave this monster a peg leg and a little wristband, and I tried to change a few things, change the position of the fingers. Now it's time for the reveal. Let's go ahead and open up our monster and look at that. Oh, you have your finished monster character. Now what we need to do is we need to just kind of connect some of these lines. And this is where you add some more fun details that are going to keep the monster looking unique and different. And people uh, won't know, aside from this line here where the paper has been folded, let's, uh, let's add a smiley face t-shirt. They won't know that you folded this paper in half to get this monster looking so perfect on both sides. And uh, they won't understand how you did this. So don't tell them the trick. Don't tell them your, your special trick uh, tell them about the YouTube channel. That would be great, but don't tell them about... The, I guess I'll tell them the trick, right? Okay. Tell them the trick and then tell them to watch me and see how I did it. There we go. Uh, maybe on this side we'll add a band-aid. And there you go. You created an awesome monster using your imagination. Check that out. 
and it's so much fun. Hey, speaking of fun, if you love drawing, I've got something for you. This is my subscription art site, Harptooniacs, where you can watch these lessons that are fully animated, watch and learn how to draw these characters step by step. Just uh, starting here, you can draw a line starting with the letter A, and then as you go through those steps, you get to the part where you have to actually spin the wheel. And so there is a wheel, a picker wheel, that you can actually spin on your own to change your character. And there are worksheets that you can print out to help you draw the character, just like that. And there are story prompt, comic book prompt worksheets so you can write about the character once you're done. Because at Harptooniacs, I believe every drawing tells a story. So it's all about getting you drawing and doing some creative writing or making a comic book. And that's how we grow our imagination. Hey, there's some free lessons. You wanna draw Angry Andy? There are free lessons that you can check out in the link below. So go ahead and click on that link and I'll see you over at Harptooniacs.